Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And today I got an update for you with the uh, hydroponic squash plant. This is a straight neck squash. And it's been grown from seed and it was sold on March 19th. And today's already April 21st. So it's just over a month old. And if you see, right over here it's beginning to put on some beautiful flowers right there look around and the male flowers always come up before the female flowers do there's about 10 to 1 ratio of male flowers to female so you know for sure that this is a male flower right here coming up as well as you'll know when it opens up by the by the inside You'll be able to see it's very easy to distinguish these types of flowers they're very large the males from the females it's quite easy to see and this plant is looking pretty beautiful i think it's actually gotten quite thorny so when you come in and brush by the leaves as well as the especially the stems right here are very sharp so you got to be careful and this plant has grown in a little hydroponic Kratky system. A little glass jar. This is a one ounce, I'm sorry, a one quart mason jar. So really quite small, not large at all. And this plant is doing really well in, the, in, the, in this container, I think. Now, this little clip right here was just like a little thing that I wanted to prop up the, the plant. As you see, it's getting a little bit heavy. The stem is starting to fall down a little bit because this plant is very very top heavy compared to the the base of the plant so it's probably going to just lean over this this thing is really already doing nothing at this point so what i'm going to do is either just let this lean over right here or what i might do is probably tie a rope to the base over here and probably tie it up to the top of this greenhouse this way it has nice and strong support and it's able to grow very well and the flowers as well as the fruit once it's producing and growing it's not going to be too heavy for the plant and if we take it out to take a look at the root system so i can show you look at this beautiful plant right here Looking nice and healthy, big beautiful leaves. Look at the size of this thing compared to my hand. This we get a nice little comparison. This is probably the largest one. And let's take a look at the roots. This is always one of my favorite things to look at. Especially in a cracky system, you're able to really see what they look like and how much nutrients is left. So just about empty actually. So we're gonna come in and refill this thing as soon as it drinks that up, probably in about a day. Or maybe even tonight. I'm gonna have to closely monitor that and see what happens with this plant. So look at that. Nice, beautiful plant. And it's soon gonna put on some beautiful fruits for us. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to pollinate and we'll go step by step this way for those of you that are interested in growing squashes and indoors you'll be able to see how to pollinate being that we don't have any bees or any bugs to help us pollinate these things so we'll just let that to leave that right there let it keep growing and we'll come back in about a week or two once the flowers open up and we'll show you how to pollinate and if you have any questions leave them down below i'll do my best to answer everything and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.